Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Ubuntu Buzzy 22.04 was released a few days ago and I'm going to check it out with you guys. Believe it or not, Buzzy is actually a pretty good desktop environment. So without further ado, we're quickly going to dive right in. Okay, okay, okay. On first boot, Ubuntu Budgie, Budgie Welcome. We are greeted by this screen. And as you can see, it's got a healthy bit of options in here. So it has introduction features, getting started, recommendations. And on the right, you have online store, community, get involved, and donate. You can go through these if you want to read. Uh, these are actually pretty good step-by-step -step details that you should actually go through if you are new to Budgie or if you're new to Linux in general that should be pretty good and we also have two big buttons over here for installing software and themes and layouts we are going to come back to it later before telling you about the default desktop look so as you can pretty much see there is a panel at the top and a dock at the bottom very very minimalistic simplistic i absolutely love this and you have a tiny little actually i should say big widget to the right which mentions your time and date and i cannot but love it so on the left is your buddy icon this is akin to a start button so there you have it you have your start button in here start menu you got you can scroll through these pages you have a healthy selection of apps i'm not going to go through them but if you are familiar to linux or if you've watched any of my linux videos they should be very familiar you have gnome maps LibreOffice writer they should be very, very familiar. Now in the middle, you have your date and time. So as you can see, system time and date settings, you can directly go through it, or you can click and go to your calendar. Now, once you've checked all of your important meetings, over to the right is your applet corner. So one by one, let's go through these. This is actually a workspace feature. So you can increase the number of workspaces that you have, or you can decrease them until you have none but one let's keep it at two and how to switch workspaces you ask um let's open budgie welcome here and if i press windows plus page down it should move to another workspace and windows plus page up should take me to the previous one beside that we have welcome to quick notes so this is something for typing quick notes for example let's say i love linux we're gonna keep that Next, you have your places applet. So this is nothing, but you can directly go to your file manager folder that you want to. So if I click on on it button, I'm pretty sure it's going to take me to the home folder. Absolutely. In my file manager. And by the way, while we're here, if this looks kind of familiar, you're right, because this is Nemo, my favorite file manager in Linux land. Next, you have applets and notifications. So you can switch between these. Under applets, as you can see, you have your calendar and it says no apps are currently playing audio. So this is for audio. You can increase, decrease, and you can expand. And you also have a mic input. So as you can see, if you had different options, they would show up here, but this is, but, but as of now it's showing only the default. And you also can switch over to notifications. So if you have any notifications, very simple, they will pop up in here. Next is your wired connection. So this is basically for controlling what kind of internet connection you're connecting to or for going into network settings. This is your audio. So you can increase or decrease or you can go to audio settings and customize your levels from there. To the right of that, we have the power button. So very self-explanatory. And by the way, hibernate. Hibernate's here. That's something to die for. Hibernate by default. I don't think I have seen this. Uh, as a GUI button in other distros that I have used. So yeah, feel free to correct me if this is available in other distros without having to go to the terminal, but hibernate, that's a plus one for me. And again, the button on the right is for opening the same drawer uh, for, again, you can change it to applets and notifications. Okay, now that we've gone through it, let's open Budgie Welcome and we're going to check out some of the themes that we have in Ubuntu Budgie. So once you open this, you're going to be greeted by two tabs, switch appearance and desktop layout. So as you can see, you can change your theme. So arc design, materia, Mojave, material design, Orcus, Pokilo. 
you have a couple of themes in here that are pretty good, but we're not interested in themes right now. We're actually interested in the desktop layout tab. So in here, magic happens. All right. This is where you're going to understand why the DE matters more than the underlying distribution. You have different layouts. Right now we're in default Ubuntu Budgie. You can change it to classic Ubuntu Budgie. You can change it to Redmond. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. So Redmond, as you can understand, this would be a very Windows like appearance. So you're going to get rid of the top bar. You're going to have only one panel at the bottom with your icons to the right and date and time always to the right. A few pen apps over here and a very traditional categorized start menu. Next, we're going to see Chrome. So as you can see, if the layout isn't uh, installed, he would ask you to install and then we would be able to apply it. Now, while it's running, let's go to another one and check it out. So if I click on the one, as you can see from the preview, this is actually a very much Ubuntu GNOME type of appearance. So you have your panel to the left. I believe this is your trash can. Oh God, that is small. And this is your budgie welcome. So this is your apps that are open. And I believe this is a, uh, this has a universal menu. So if I open, yep. So if I open Nemo, as you can see, you do get the menus up here instead of in here. And also you get your close, minimize and maximize buttons to the left instead of to the right. Now, if you don't like this, there is also another one called Cupertino. Cupertino, yes, this is a Mac like layout and you're going to get your dock at the bottom, your panel at the top. And if you open something again, let's say LibreOffice Writer, it will have the universal menus at the top. So if I close the notification, if I drag this down, as you can see, we have all the options over here. Very pretty. This is actually how I like using my Linux distros. So that's a big plus. And now that we have finally Chrome layout installed, let's go ahead and apply to it. Let's check what it is and as you can see people that have used chrome os this would be familiar to you um, the icons in the middle a full screen app drawer to the left oh my god this absolutely looks beautiful and don't worry about the lack of animations or other things because i am running this inside a vm so yeah i know you guys don't like it but i'm sorry again you have your icons to the left. So that is something that is there. And so we're going to go ahead and apply Cupertino and stick to it for the rest of the video. And I don't know why sometimes this happens. The dock goes up. And so I think if I apply it again, it should just go away. Yeah. And uh, I am using 100% scaling on a 1080p laptop monitor and by default, Plank Dock looks very small. And by the way, if you didn't know, this dock is actually Plank Dock, a very customizable and very cool dock that is very popular in the Linux community. So you have a lot of themes in here. You can change, you can mix and match. You can change your position. But what I'm going to do right now is increase the font size to 48 because because it was too small. You also have buttons for behavior so you can intelli hide you can lock icons and you also have option to add a few dock lists so now that we've gone through budgie welcome let's go ahead and check out the settings menu now inside budgie you actually don't call it settings you call it the budgie control center control center would be familiar to a lot of you so this is kind of like gnome so you have your network bluetooth backgrounds, everything. So before we come and put, apply a new background, let's quickly go to the about section and check what it is. So as you can see, we are on budgie 10.6.1. We are running Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, and we are using the X11 windowing system. So this is not Wayland thing. So let's go to background. Let's check a few of those out. As you can see, you have a very healthy collection of beautiful backgrounds. Now, um, let's go ahead and choose one. So I think I'm going to stick with this. 
or maybe this for the video. Ooh, this actually looks fancy. Now, if you know GNOME software, the rest of this should be very familiar to you. Uh, enabling screen snapping, having number of workspaces, displaying workspaces on all displays or on the primary display, privacy, Thunderbolt. A lot of these should be very, very, very familiar to a lot of you. So I'm not going to go through this. Now, another thing is actually budgie settings. So this is a different thing, budgie desktop settings. So this will actually allow you to change the style, the desktop style fonts. I don't know. I'm not sure what Raven is, but uh, this will allow you to change a lot of the things in here. So under style, as you can see, you can change your cursor, icons, notification position. So this would be kind of like how you uh, kind of like when you install GNOME tweaks, uh, you get a lot of these options. So this is kind of like that. You can uh, disable or enable animations. You can use the built in theme to override the desktop components. And uh, under desktop, you can enable or disable desktop icons, show active mounts, show the home directory. So that would be that uh, show trash, which I also like to do. And under Raven, uh, you have uh, you can set the Raven position. You can enable display number of weeks in the calendar, show the calendar ad, uh, widget and a lot of things. Under window, you can attach modal dialogues to windows. You can disable nightlight mode when windows are full screen. You have a ton of options. Feel free to go through these and see what you like and what you don't like. As long as you don't mess around with the DE of a system, you're not going to learn properly what the different offerings the DE has. And again, this is the applets that we checked earlier. Uh, this is this. So you have the app menu, spacer, global menu, as you can see. So this would be the app menu. This would be the spacer and these, uh, this would be the global menu. And then uh, at the end, you have your app indicator, applet, uh, drop by again, network, uh, status indicator, clock. So you can understand this is pretty much self-explanatory. Everything that appears on the top panel is in here. You can choose to add or delete an applet. So let's say you want caffeine. So caffeine actually mm, prevents your desktop from going to sleep. So you can, I think, uh, drag it down. I'm not sure. Uh, or maybe if you click and then, yep, you can actually change the position of caffeine. So that is actually pretty cool. And you can also change uh, the behavior of said applet. Then we're going to take a brief look at the software center and then we're going to quickly wrap up the video. Hmm, this looks very familiar. I guess this is GNOME software center. Let's check about software. And yes, it says 41.5. So this is actually GNOME software center. As you can see, GNOME software contributors. And this is your bog standard, very beautiful looking GNOME software center. What can I say? It's it's functional and, and it's pretty. So if I click on any single app, let's say Bitwarden, um, I think probably it'll allow only for Ubuntu snaps or Debs. And yeah, only snaps. Fair enough. But the good thing is if you go to the Ubuntu Budgie welcome screen and if you click install software, you can actually go to Flatpak apps. So what this will do is this will open up Firefox and it will take you to Flathub from here. You can install a Flatpak application if you so choose. Okay, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. We're going to wrap up this video with that. Uh, if you found this video useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.